and welcome to Amigos Retro Gaming. In this, part 5 of the series where I've been tricking out my Amiga 2500, I'm installing a Tandem IDE slash CD-ROM card and CD-ROM drive. I'm starting here by removing the RAM card that I installed in one of the previous videos. Uh, this is a 4 meg card. I need to do this to free up the Zorro 2 slot that I'm going to plug the uh, tandem interface card into. So um, that's I've got enough RAM now with the accelerator card with 16 megs on board. That's enough in the meantime anyway. I tried the drive uh, whilst the data cable was plugged into the CD-ROM port and it uh, did not detect so I'm just going to try it on the IDE port see if that makes uh, a difference. Okay, next thing to do is to um, put the actual CD drive in. This is a, a just a regular IDE CD-ROM drive. And um, uh, just fed the data cable, the IDE cable, through the back there just to make it a bit easier. And that will get plugged into the interface card. And I just need to sort out some uh, power, just a power connector there. And... Um, I'm going to cheat slightly just by uh, uh, positioning the drive and installing the two uh, right hand mounting screws. Uh, that's just because the, the left hand ones are quite hard to get to while the, uh, the chassis that holds the drives and the power supply are in place. So I'll tidy that up later once I've uh, done all my testing. Software installation time. I've got the floppy disk installed for the tandem CD install, and we'll just run the installer here. And uh, this will just ask us a few questions about the install process. So I'll go for the intermediate here. Launching the Find CD program. Okay, and it's found a device. CD device, I guess it's the top one there. AT device, just running another scan there, just to see what we get. Oh, there we go. So it's actually found the drive on the right hand side there, attached to one of those uh, ports. So we use that one, and it's assigning CD0 there. Okay, I'm just going to stick with the standard install. CDFS prefs utility. I guess that's CD file system utility, so I'll go ahead and install that. And kill dev, kill device, I guess. Uh, not sure exactly what that would do, but um, find CD utility. Yep, I'll grab that as well. Should the play CD be installed? Yep, grab everything, I think. Eject CD, that could be handy. I take it that's a software ejector. Mount, yep. Cannot open tandem AT device in unit one. Oh, that doesn't look too good. Let's see what we get here. Maybe a reboot might sort that. I did trim a little bit of that uh, reboot sequence there. Although this computer is starting up a lot faster than what it used to with that accelerator card in. It's great. How about Super Frog? I think uh, that's definitely worth a, worth a try. Also a great game. My five-year-old niece loves it. She, that's all she wants to do when she comes to visit is play Super Frog. <laughs> Keeps her attention for quite some time. It's great. We sit on the couch and play it together. It's, uh, it's great uncle uh, niece bonding time. Uh, we both thoroughly enjoy it. It's really cool to see that the Amiga is still used more than 30 years later and enjoyed um, across generations. So, you know, it just shows you the um, the quality of the machine and the quality of the games that were made for it and the applications. 
You can catch the other videos in the series by visiting Amigos Retro Gaming on YouTube. Uh, also, you'll find heaps of other really great videos there. John and Aaron do a live podcast, video podcast and audio podcast uh, every week. So make sure you catch uh, those guys and there's lots of lots of talent there, lots of personality. So uh, you make sure you check it out. And there's also a heap of other great videos on the site as well on the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, the website is everythingamiga.com. Uh, there you'll find all sorts of Amiga related articles, a uh, regularly published magazine, uh, links to our videos, and uh, a whole heap more. So yeah, take a look at the website. It's all published by our amazing team of talented and uh, committed contributors. So yeah, and um, of course all this is made possible by our generous Patreon subscribers. And if you happen to be sitting in the room here, you would get a real good idea of how loud these fans are in the machine. It's uh, drowning out the super frog there a little bit. I could probably turn it up a bit more on the stereo, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty loud. Uh, so yeah, I might do a bit of work on um, looking into quieting down the fan noise from the power supply. The hard drive makes a little bit of noise too. Uh, I could probably get away with putting, putting in a, uh, a solid state solution there, like a compact flash solution. And um, uh, the accelerator card fan is horrendously noisy as well, so you know that um, contributes quite a bit to the noise. I, I don't think I can get the heat sink and the fan off the CPU without doing some damage. I'd certainly want to put a lot of research into doing that before I went ahead. I only have one of those cards so I'm almost tempted to put up with the noise. The The noise is a lot less when the lid's back on the machine so uh, yeah it's not too bad. So there we have the uh, CD-ROM installed and working. So um, keep an eye out for more videos in this series. And of course, thank you very much for watching.